So do you want me to sit down or should I just start talking and dancing and shit? Well, do you? I mean, shit. Chill, you look like a classy white nigga. Where you from? You do. So cute. Yeah, but where you from though? That's it. Come on, stop with holding information. You from Westchester? Holy shit. That's what I'm looking for. Somebody from Westchester. Still looking and shit. You classy? You don't hang out with any gorillas, do you? I'm sick of these motherfucking gorillas. You play basketball? You better read Shakespeare. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Rigorous Podcast. I am Angelo. That is the new Shani. And we got the queen, da Marisa. Say, Hale, say, da say. You know people get those chemicals. What did they call those? Oxytotins? As soon as your voice comes on. They've been waiting all week for this shit. <laughs> the, the adrenaline starts flowing. The ador- endorphins. That, By the way, that song, too, based mm-hmm. on that first dating video I made with that company. Yeah. I don't have to worry about the train anymore because I'm strictly Uber. That, oh, really? <laughs> I can take you in an Uber to the Bronx. We need well, to do an update. What? I can take you in a lift. <laughs> in a lift to the Bronx. In a lift. Holy shit, I don't, I, don't fuck with the, I don't fuck with the subway anymore. You don't do the subways no more. I don't fuck with that shit. That's what it is. I mean, that's just progression. That's life's progression. That's it. You be Ubering everywhere too. I do. I do. I Uber. I do Uber it. Um, yeah, because the trains after a while, you know. You love getting in that Uber too. You feel regal. Not regal, but I like. I seen you getting. You look like a poodle. <laughs> you look like an Irish setter getting in there. Head up, arrogant I keep, owl. I keep the window That's open. It. Yeah, stick you my head out. You don't bang on the window if that shit is locked, because you're aristocrat. You wait for him to realize that it was locked. You just stand there and pause with a look on your face. Like, nah, come on, pa, nah. unlock the door. You my servant. You my butler. That's it. I got to go to the Daily Show. Saeed. Anyway, um, so we got we have Shani here with her her wonderful new look. Holy shit! What do you think, Mama? Holy shit! Yeah. Now is this the first one that's going on Gas Digital? Which we don't know. We're probably releasing this one tonight. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> We're going to put Sergio until we miss one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Like if if you're not watching the video, if you're listening to this shit in your car right now on mm-hmm. iTunes, <laughs> risk getting into an accident to go to YouTube <laughs> yeah. to see what's happening here. Shani went radical. Yeah. You that show- bitch is like the '60s right here. Counterculture. <laughs> did you show it? Did you? Sh- uh, I did. Yeah. Show yourself. Let yeah. me see. Let me see. Her hair can is you, purple. But can you you can't really tell though. Yeah, I have I have shitty lighting over here. But yeah, it's, it's pink and purple it's, now. It's it's uh it's pink and purple. Yeah. It's purple and purpler. Yeah. I it's don't amazing. Know. That's it. Yeah. I like the I like the colors. Maybe sure. like as a shirt or something. <laughs> Holy shit. That's okay. Sad. So that's the next step. Get yeah. get yourself a shirt <laughs> yeah. that color. Yeah, then I'll go back to blonde. Yeah. She looks like a mountain do a flavored mountain dew. <laughs> <laughs> like grape juice and shit. <laughs> you look like well. You know you're going to get a lot of attention from black men and shit, because they're gonna think your head is grape drink. <laughs> They love that grape drink and shit. They do. Let they me f- get some fruit drink. They, they, yeah, they fuck with the grape. They fuck with that but shit. But I, I think you look fantastic, though. Thanks. I just, I don't feel like it's me. No. I feel like my, like I'm blonde. I feel like I okay. should be blonde. Okay. So I did it, though. I got it out of my system. You got it out. Yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel? We, I feel like everyone's like looking at me. Okay. Like when I walk into a place or something and then it's, people then want to start a conversation about the one time they did their hair, weird color and <laughs> the whole thing. So I don't love it. But maybe that's just the initial thing. But eventually when you walk in, they're just going to think that you want to buy ecstasy from somebody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, where's the rave at? You look like you want some techno shit right now. You're going to walk in with platform sneakers. Glow sticks. That's it. Yo, you mess shot another shit. You would not know she was from Bensonhurst. Yeah. That's said until she said her first <laughs> loud or some shit like Let that talk. or neighborhood then Chocolate you would hear it but neighbor. otherwise you'd be like this bitch from the suburbs in Connecticut she'd be going to parties in the in the forest where they'd be doing <laughs> mad ecstasy <laughs> they don't even call it Molly there they call it ecstasy still in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you're gonna change it though you, yeah uh, like how soon I have to like I spent I spent seven hours getting it this way uh, that's what I'm saying <laughs> yeah so I got it probably like a month I'll like write oh, it okay. out for a month. Well, yeah, that's, yeah that's it. You got to get a little payment, a repay off yeah. that investment. <laughs> yeah. You can't just go one day. That's a waste of. T- How much money did you spend on that shit? A lot. A lot yeah. of money. Yeah. Now, my question is here I know a lot of listeners probably thinking, is Angelo ever going to try some shit? <laughs> I want to see you with purple hair. <laughs> nah, my You look I'm like a, a midlife crisis breakdown or <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
you like know? a blonde sun. You remember sun in? Put some sun in, uh, in there. <laughs> just gray I mean, everywhere like with like how, a blonde streak. How ridiculous would that be? I show up in here with like my hair. Come I'm on. telling you right you know, now. That, that just reeks of just having problems. And that would be probably the greatest life. thing that happened in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the funniest thing that happened in entertainment podcast history. <laughs> you came in with just one blonde streak down the middle. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> but how about you, mama? I mean, your look is what it is. It's classic. You think about doing something different? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I look at it. See, people try too much. Like Shannon, yeah. I, I respect what Shannon's she did. Shannon's not broke. I, no, I respect what she did. Okay. She tried something different. Okay. But even she just told you. She's like, I don't know if it's me or shit. Okay. See, me, I just knew it was me from the but, moment. But she had to try it, though. She tried it out. Right, and so she didn't like it. So I you tried being a man and I switched. <laughs> so I already have my transformation. Like, you win. That's it. So you wouldn't think, you don't think like, you know, let me try something different. I mean, you loving this. And That's I, it. And I, we all love it. I'm so comfortable in my own skin. It's crazy. Okay. Okay, then the only problem it. right now is that my fan is broken, and I'm surprised because this shit is from Venencia. So I don't know how this middle shit broke because this is quality plastic it's right here. <laughs> this shit is quality plastic. Is that the one you were given? This is the one that I was given here. Look what show? happened. Oh, that shit my, fell apart. Oh, oh shit. This shit is like. That's, uh, look at that. Is that the one I gave you? This no. Is, no. Did you give me the one from Venencia? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's oh. the one from Italy. Shannon, I know this shit probably cost you like 292 <laughs> euros. How many euros this shit cost? I don't know. Probably like five. Maybe. Five euros this shit. This is. Not a cheap fan, Angelo. No, it's not, and it just felt as just you have the receipt. Well, how much is <laughs> Let's five send euros? It back. Is that like five hundred dollars? Yeah, I don't know yeah. the transformation. <laughs> Let's send it back, man. That's Y'all, not this right. Shit broke. I don't know. I'm sorry, Shannon. I'm still going to frame it and put it on. I'm gonna put it in a frame like this and yeah, yeah. put it in uh, in my kitchen like that. Benicia. That's it. I'm going to Shannon to autograph that shit too. I'm a fan, Shannon. I'm a fan. I don't care. That's it. I'm a fan of Shannon. Who's not? Exactly. Especially with the new hair. Except for with that purple rain. <laughs> purple rain. I think you look great. And I, you know, just ride it and do whatever you want to do with it. And go back to blonde. We're going to love you regardless. The Thank best you. part about this whole thing is that Angelo acts surprised when he came in. Like, he didn't see that shit on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> three, no, in, three in the morning, laying in no. bed, scrolling. Scrolling. No, I did. But I didn't see it like this because her, her photos. Uh, she was like, she took a couple of pictures with her dad, who, who by the way, Looks like a, a fun guy. She just told us before that he's, he used to be a boxer. Uh, like a, like not even a boxer. Yeah, like, like a, a scrapper. Like, but like a an bare underground, knuckles yeah. type fighter. Like yeah. tell, underground. Shannon, what, what tell Fight me. club type <laughs> shit. Was he on some fight club shit? Yeah, yeah, kind of. It's like the Brad Pitt of your family. Yeah, I remember I remember uh, like my mom sending me to my room because my dad was coming up the stairs and had kind of like a, you know, like a busted face a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that's how I found out about it. How so this was you? like underground street fighting in yeah. Bensonhurst? Yeah, yeah. And, and these motherfuckers here is mean to, mean to you and that's <laughs> yeah, digital <laughs> you need to tell Luis J. Gomez that, that Vito Lee Shire he don't play around and shit <laughs> Vito Lee Shire don't play around <laughs> Luis J. Gomez where he's from Luis J. Gomez White Plains or some shit I have no idea yeah, he better Rockland. chill yeah is that's from right. Rockland he your father Rockland. going to come and punch somebody in the face or shit <laughs> that's old hat for him so, so how long did he do that though I don't remember. It's just, we haven't spoken about it in a long time, but he was a martial artist also. Holy so, shit. Yeah. And he so he that. loves Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> he wants you to marry him, but the guy's pretty smart. Does he know Louis? No. Have they met? No. Sounds uh, like they're the same person in different ages. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. That's why I knew you was drawn to this company. <laughs> That's some daddy issue shit. But that was for money though, right? He, yeah. He earned some... some... Yeah. Was he ranked in the underground illegal yeah, city? I gotta ask. I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, like how how good was he? You right don't now? have to ask. We'll go check the police records. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go look that shit up on the Mish on the on the Mish machine. The, fi- the Mish. What did they used to call that? Uh, microfiche. Microfiche. <laughs> oh, microfiche. Yeah, we go see that. Yeah. yeah. He, what was his nick? Did he have a nickname? I don't know. What's his all nickname? The brawler. Vito. Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Lee Hoyer. <laughs> That was his nickname. Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> Every opportunity I see, I'm going to drop that shit. Really higher. I like to hear Angelo go. That shit is like a wind up doll for Angelo's laugh. <laughs> Vito, get out of my neighborhood. Lee Hire. They played that shit over the loudspeaker. It's echoing off to whatever illegal basement in the abandoned building. They fighting it. Somebody commented. I'm, I'm, they get a kick out of me laughing. That's sad. Especially the last one, Dream Killer. The Dream Killer. The Dream Killer. People love that shit. Oh, my God. People love you, Angelo. People, Those I love, first I few people, people, they must have been new to They must be new. I, I think I just, I think I, um, I got it under people's skin. Like, I think they figured me out. You know what I mean? Maybe. Or I, I just beat him into submission. 
They know. I think what it is is they know that there's no fighting me because of you. That's it. Because it's me and you. Not even just because of me. You do you, no matter what. Well, yeah, absolutely. You but do I, you. But as far as the podcast is concerned, like, man, we're gonna have to live with him because that's Maurice's that's boy. That's what it is. That's what's up. But you are somebody who is also very comfortable in your own skin. I you am. never have made any radical changes since I've known you. No. You've been great all Nature. the way. Like, yeah, Nature. Nature. You, you've been Morgan Freeman for like, <laughs> since I've known you. And shit. <laughs> Nature. I have. I wasn't like this. A little though. more salt and pepper. There's a like picture. This. You had yeah. a little salt and pepper in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. When, yeah. when we first. I always did, like from an early age. And now it's really getting salt here. But, but you like that shit. I'm cool. I'm you got cool. your Neo Montoya goatee. You don't play I'm, around. I'm, I don't play around. Say, and today you're wearing a sweatshirt, mixing it up. <laughs> looking like Yo, a teenager is, with a mixtape on that this shit. This is my boy Jibo. Jibo the pro. He's a fantastic DJ. He uh, plays the music for my Lozada Lowdown at, uh, at Gotham. And these are for sale, man. These are dope. He's got different colors. Jibo the pro. Look him up. Right, Jibo the pro. Jibo the pro better give us some free sweatshirts for yeah, that promotion. Cause that just went out to 300 million people. Is it 300? That's what Shannon told me. We up to 3 million. 300 yeah, million. Yeah. We, we, the people listening is equal to the, pop, the population of India. Oh, That's wow. it. Wow. Same. I mean, our shit is number one. Wow. We are the number one podcast in the world right now. Wow. Holy shit. Is that is that true? We're the number one podcast in the world. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely oh, true. Oh, my God. That's absolutely true. That's crazy, man. Can you believe that shit? You should see how people have been going crazy. We made it to number one. Now we need to, what goal do we set now? We just stay got, at number one. Yeah, we got to maintain it, mommy. Got to maintain. Got to maintain. It's hard to climb up the hill, but you know what's even harder? What's harder? To stay up there. Yeah, it's really easy. I'm telling to you, fall these off. bitches been trying to get me off my Queen Hill for a long time, but let me tell you something. I ain't going nowhere. Nah, you crazy I with say, that rigorous? I die. I'm still going to be in your dreams. I ain't going nowhere. I'm you, I'm immortal. <laughs> that shit you know, is crazy. I, you know, I do believe that though. I I believe God forbid if anything were to happen to you. You are going. You you have set yourself in this legendary status. You will always be remembered, just, especially now with this podcast. That's it. They and can want, always go back to it. They can listen to this forever. Their grandchildren can listen. Yeah. To this. And I want to say this to you too right now, because we're a team. Right. If I go down, <laughs> one of you needs to pick up that flock. And you come here and you keep doing that Angelo Shannon show. But that's crazy, you Shannon. Have to do it. Could you imagine that, Shannon? Like. This that's end. that's a void that cannot be filled. But this is bigger than me, Angelo. Yeah, I, no. It, this is a void. What, like, what are we gonna do? This is a movement. We need a hashtag. This is a. Ha- How come okay. we don't have a hashtag yet? I don't know. What would be a hashtag? We like? only got hashtag rigorous podcast and hashtag that's it. Hashtag, that's it. Now that one's run away. We need we need one specific to the movement. To the movement. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, so you saying like a hashtag me too we type need, thing? We need a movement and shit. Okay. That's okay. it. Okay. Something bigger than me. So if I go down, right. the people don't stop. God okay. forbid. If you go down, we just, you know, we audition two people and keep moving. I actually, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shana that's goes exactly down, what it is. That's going to be a tough one. To I, yeah, I think she's irreplaceable. How are well. we going to find Shana? I think I'm the only uh, replaceable. I mean, yeah. shit. <laughs> but you know what? As, met, as, uh, as many uh, videos and stuff we get of folks dressed like you and doing impressions of you, we just bring them in and audition them. And maybe, just got to do it. Maybe somebody. That's because I'm, I'm down to keep this going, but. I know for a fact that ain't nothing gonna happen to you. Nah, I'm you, immortal. You know what I mean? And and death is not rigorous, baby. I'm like a vampire. Uh, yeah. Dude, you need to take me out. You're I'm gonna, still going to exist in the darkness. Yeah, no matter how old. Like, look at J-Lo. You see what happened? J-Lo's now the new guest girl. She's the oldest guest girl. You texted me that shit. Yes, man. Come Holy on. Shit. J-Lo. How old, how old is J-Lo right she's now? 48. Shannon, is she 48 years old? Is she 48? Yeah. I yeah, so. she's like 48. 48. The guest girl. A guest girl. No, she I, redefining, reinventing. You know what I mean? She is gorgeous. Though. She's fantastic. She don't. She doesn't. She didn't. She looks younger now than she did when she was a fly girl. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, she does actually. Yeah, she is. Look at. Look at that. Look at this. Holy shit. Yeah. Talk about the real queen right there. Wow. We, that. That's a, she not even a queen. She's a god and shit. Mm-hmm. You know how like Buddhism, they have temples? Yeah. They need to do a temple, a J-Lo temple. I go uh, there, I worship. I spend, I sit down there. I put a rug down like a Muslim <laughs> and just do this shit to J-Lo. <laughs> like that. Down, 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 like down. The, yeah, like Look that. Look at that bitch. Yeah, she's, she's something else. Holy shit, classy. So she's a new guest girl. She's in Westchester. That's probably in her backyard right there. In, Is that, you think in that's North Salem? Yeah. Look, see the 48-year-old. 48 years year old. old legs and yeah she's making it look her. good see she's aging well yeah and then now she also went to a retire she's dating somebody who's retired yeah. she's aging well right madonna she's not aging that well you know it's interesting well she, she's like 60 she likes 60 but she but takes she selfies was... like a 14 year old you follow <laughs> yeah. that shit looks like a mental breakdown her instagram <laughs> i'm concerned for her 
she did those ones in the morning like yeah, this with yeah, that yeah. weird face. I'm like, yeah. Madonna, you on an icon. Yeah. Why are you on fucking Instagram? Right, right. You right. kidding the whole vibe? That's like, imagine Prince had an Instagram account. Yeah. Seriously, let's talk about this shit. Did he have? I don't, I don't, of course he, he didn't. Uh, yeah, that okay. motherfucker didn't even have a name anymore. <laughs> he made himself a motif. <laughs> that's I, how big he is. He made himself a, like a what is it? A, an icon. He made himself just a symbol. Yeah, yeah. Because he is such an icon, Prince. Right. Right. That like, can you imagine if he had this Instagram account just like regular people? It'd be corny. That's weird. And that's what he he wasn't about that. It seems thirsty. It, it seems thirsty. It, yeah, and she. Why would she do that? Right? I don't know why she's doing that. She's Madonna. There was a point where she was aging well, yeah. and then age just you know. But it wasn't catches the, up. No, but it's not the age. No, it's the way she's acting. It's just her. Like, bitch, you a grandma. Her psychology. <laughs> you a grandma. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I know your kids didn't have kids, but I know they aborted yeah. a few. <laughs> oh damn. That's <laughs> Them kids is wilding out. We're talking real. Her daughter Lourdes, 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 she's out there, man. She's, I mean, you know, come on, they they doing coke. That's how they live when you grow up like that. They having a good time. <laughs> they, they're living their best life. And if she's not a grandma, coke. she's going to be one. Eventually, she's going point. to be one real soon. Yeah. And her kids can't be like, look at my grandma's Instagram. Mm -hmm. She's sitting there and she got on these, uh, you know. Those stock, what are those? The fishnet stockings, right? And posing like this, she's right. eighty. Come on, get yeah. yourself a chair, watch <laughs> The Bachelor, make yourself some tea, an Archie Bunker chair, and learn a couple of recipes for the children. <laughs> That's sad. You need to read. You need to read the little prints to these little motherfuckers. <laughs> Don't fight that shit. Yeah, you just you just. You can still it. be sexy and classy when you're older, Hell but yeah. it's got to be age appropriate. No, of course. It's like like you, Helen Mirren. You know Helen exactly. Mirren, the actress? Exactly. Was she like 70 now? It's like 70 years Meryl Street. Meryl Street. Meryl Street. Aging very nicely. Beautifully. Not too much work. I mean, look, I mean, Madonna looked like she'd been in a fire. <laughs> she looked like she got repaired after a fire. She looked like she was in a fight with Vito. <laughs> Get out of my neighborhood. Get out of my neighborhood. <laughs> you can't, yeah, she looked like she was in the pits. <laughs> she was in the pits. <laughs> That's it. She looked like she was in the pits. I mean, her shit is tight. Too yeah. tight. Like this. Yeah. I mean, it, it gets out of control. I mean, there she goes. Well, she actually yeah. looks pretty good there. But this is you got to go before. to the Instagram yeah, though. This, you got to go to some of the weird selfie shots. Oh, this is Madonna before plastic surgery. It says. Yeah, I mean, you know, the plastic surgery. Look, a lot of people think it makes you look better, but the natural look is, you know, yeah. it looks good. Yeah. Madonna's a beautiful woman. She's always been. Yeah. She was aging really well. And, and then look, mostly she's still doing good, and she still looks good. But she got to chill with this Instagram. I mean, you are Madonna. I mean, she's got to read some recipes. You're not Madonna. Read some recipes. Look at okay. So okay, here we go. What is this? She look. Is this her Instagram? Yep. All right. Yep. Well, she's looking good and classy here. We got to go down to the real ones. Maybe her publicist corrected this is shit. Is this really her? It says I don't 10 know million followers. Yeah, that's her. Okay. It's got the check in there and so everything. Go down. You just got to keep going down. You get to those weird selfies that she does. There we go. Right there on the left. She starts getting weird. Selfies right there. Keep going. There's some weird ones in the morning. There we go. She's on the sneak. We don't need to know you're on the ski scalps. What, what is this shit? Look at this. Look at this. She's put this is a selfie. That bitch is holding the camera. Yeah. She should have four people. She's a diva holding yeah. that camera. <laughs> yeah. Who's that little boy though? Who's that? Is that her little son? Like the little black boy on the probably one. No, of not him. Well, him too. And the one who's like looks like he's drunk. <laughs> no, he's out. <laughs> he, All he's right. just hiding from her, trying to take a selfie. Keep going. You're going to see some weird ones. I'll be following her. Look, she's doing the bunny nose. You're not 13, bitch. You can't be using filters. <laughs> you can't use filters at 60. Just you, like when you go, you to, a, when you go into a movie and it says it's R, you got to be with a parent, P, right. PG-13. Those yeah. filters just say you have to be at least under yeah. 32 30. years old. <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to use it. It just doesn't look right. No, look at these selfies. What's this bitch doing here? Yeah. Look, her. what's these angles? Shannon, am I wrong? She going too hard. She's yeah. Madonna. It's bad. Keep what? going. There's some bad ones. There's some bad ones. Keep going. I'm gonna find. Some. We're going to find one that really freaked me out. If I remember it, keep going. Look at this. But you know what's interesting? She has she has photos from like world renowned photographers, like artists. Like she look doesn't this. have look to this. do this. What's she doing? I'm alone in a hotel room. Madonna, I don't want to know you're lonely. You're killing the, 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 the you're killing the illusion. Yeah. I don't want to see you sitting in a hotel room holding the camera to your face. Sad. Look at her doing the tiger shit here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, Madonna. All right, I think I'm, I'm done with Madonna. Yeah, she trying too hard to change with the times. You had your time, bitch. Go do those icon tours. <laughs> <laughs> That's like it. Those cruises, those icon cruises. Look, you, uh, uh, who, KC and the Sunshine I Band. Said, look, she's still an icon. She could do sellout stadiums and shit. She does. And her Instagram is great, except for those fucking thirsty ass selfies. That's they're, it. they're a little thirsty. Shannon, I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? No, you're nah, not. No, court of law. If we was in a court of law, <laughs> right. I ain't wrong. Nah, you didn't perjure yourself. But speaking of empowering women, the uh, Women's March is this weekend, Mama. 
what's happening across the country, across the world. Women are marching for equality. What's, what are we doing? Are you doing? Are you going through? What's happening? Of course happening? I'm going to be there. Fantastic. Of course I'm going to be there. Awesome. Uh, where's it going to be again? Um, I'm not sure. Where's it going to be, Shannon? It's going to be here. Well, here, D.C., across the country, but I'm not sure exactly where here. This um, is the main event is in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Oh. So then I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> no, but there's I'm a... buying a ticket for this. There's a, there's a march here, though. Is there going to be the march coming anywhere down my block? Because I'll pop out for that shit and then pop in. It's a little cold outside. Can't they wait yeah. till spring for this shit? Well, that's why they got the pussy hats to keep to keep warm, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So it's just, you know, it's the women's movement. You that's know, right. last we... year they did it and it was it was massive. Let me tell you, though, it's going to be really hard to keep women united why do you say that because man? we get really competitive in that march and yeah yeah yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. at the march there's going to be a lot of disagreeing a little cattiness but as long as women realize mm -hmm. it's okay to be a woman it's okay to disagree it's okay to hate on a bitch if she's being a bitch <laughs> okay but the the cause is for all the women right so it's bigger than being a woman right because we're going to argue mm -hmm. that's not going to change that's in the nature it's human nature. That's human nature. We're competitive. We're competing. Right. That's right. it. Right. You know, we don't like each other sometimes. Right. And so it's really hard. Sometimes right. we like each other, sometimes we don't. But on that day, we should be a it should be like a detente. You a, know what I'm saying? Detente. Put down your put down your swords, ladies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if there was a girl that you know your boyfriend was flirting with and you hate that bitch, right. if you see her at the march, tip your tip your pussy hat to that bitch. E even that, even if, if you have even to. if you if you know if you know this broad is fucking with trying to fuck with your man, for the cause, you'll tip the pussy you hat. You got to do that, okay? For the cause because it's, it's bigger. Because yeah, okay. it's bigger. So right. we got to do that for the cause. With the cause, you would do that. I would. I couldn't. I couldn't reach down that. Day. I mean, I couldn't reach. That's down what I'm day. asking, mommy. Because I mean, you're do. asking, right? Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. <laughs> I say, I see that bitch. I'm, I'm going to go up and smack that bitch. <laughs> That's what I'm asking because I know you. So why would you expect? Because what you're saying is absolutely right. I know we trying to. But live, it's hard though. We're right? trying to live up to ideals here to right. unify. Even with us, this Aziz Ansari shit. Yeah, look at that. This this comedian, the, yeah. the, the little guy. The little guy. The little guy, right? Yeah. So he put his. <laughs> <laughs> the little guy. The little guy put his fingers. He was clawing. <laughs> yeah, down her throat. He's putting the V for vendetta <laughs> in her mouth. <laughs> right. Because that's sexy. But and you know, the women right now, you go online, all the comments. They torn over it. Yeah. A lot of people saying that he was inappropriate. A lot of girls saying he wasn't. They yelling at each other. I'm finding I, more uh pro Aziz. A, it's coming, you see, yeah. but at first it was it was it was anti Aziz. And yeah. now well, they're coming yeah. back. Yeah. It's like he's in the ninth inning yeah. and he's rallying yeah. right now. Okay. He's rallying right <laughs> he's now. He's rallying. And if no fourth other, quarter, fourth yeah. quarter. Right, like the like the Vikings. You saw that game. He this looks weekend? like he might get out of this inning without giving up a run. <laughs> he's gonna be fine, mommy. He he's, might. He's gonna be fine. He's not unless, gonna be ruined by unless this. some other shit comes out. Oh well, of course. Unless some more. Comes I mean, out. we have to keep it at this. But here's the shit about 2018, Sean and Angelo. What is it, mommy? This fucking article came out on what? Babe.net? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck is Babe.net? <laughs> you want me to start a website and put an article out? Yeah. I mean, what happened to journalistic standards? That's right. Is this bitch who wrote this article, she a journalist? Right, right. Right now, actually, if you're on the side, I'm not mm -hmm. taking sides because I'm not getting into this shit. Okay. It's not my business. Okay. I'm from New York City. I don't right. get in shit that's not my fucking business. Keep it moving. I got nothing to gain from this shit. Keep it moving. So I'm just going to say, if you're on the side, right. if you're on the side where you think that Aziz, <clears throat> Aziz, didn't do some shit. Okay. Then or didn't do wrong. Didn't do wrong. Okay. Right? If you on that side. Because the story, you you it's true. The story, he didn't like deny you, it. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, if you on the side that he didn't do it. Right. Are you not then mad at this bitch. Right. Who released this story. Right. To ruin his reputation. Mm -hmm. So his mother's reading this. His father's right. reading this. Right. You know, his mother probably some Indian woman. Right? Sitting there cooking naan and shit. <laughs> Sitting there putting on the internet. Right. Seeing her son is thick, hook, thick hooking bitches. <laughs> throwing his fingers down there. Trying to make these bitches throw up. She's mortified right now. <laughs> and he, if you want to decide that he didn't do nothing wrong, right. then you should say, then these bitches did something wrong for releasing this story. I absolutely agree with that. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even, it's not even the girl, the girl who, uh, who's making the accusation, she feels the way she feels. She feels the way she feels. Right, but it's up to the, 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 the organization. Babe, it's up to them to determine whether this is releasable. I mean, is the, you know. And I agree with that 100%. Because they basically say he assaulted this bitch. Yeah. That was the headline. That's the bottom line. was like. Sexual I, I assault. See, sexual assault. And then you read that shit yeah. and you're like, yo, <laughs> you were sucking that dick three times throughout the night. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. You were scared and then of him? You, and then you stopped. And Bob, yeah, scared of a Have you seen Aziz. this puny motherfucker? Yeah, if 74% of the women on, on Earth can beat him up, 
I mean, seriously. That's not, come on. I mean, shit. You know, so, I mean, it was, it, you know, and there was no power over her, right? It's not like he said, you do this or you're not going to get the I job. I think we need to let Shannon talk too. Shannon, Shannon what, what do you think, baby? What's your think on you this? Read, you read the story? I did, yeah. Okay, what, what's your take? I think that the woman was embarrassed of what happened. I think she was excited because it was a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, she thought about it. She was embarrassed and she needed some sort of validation afterwards from people. And so she decided to go after I'll him. I'll say you heard it okay. from a woman. Because there you go. Especially the part about like, okay, I'm a little bit of a prude, but if I'm going to hang out with a guy and he's like, oh, let's go back to your place or my place, I'm like, no, because I know I'm not going to sleep with them. So I'm not going to give them that idea by going back to their house. Okay. And so she started at his hotel room, went back to his hotel room. I mean, what what do you what do you think? What do you was, think was he's it, doing? Was it a hotel room or he his apartment? His apartment. Uh, no, yeah. His, his apartment, apartment, yeah. He had marble. He had marble counters. He had marble. He put her up on that. And <laughs> she said, he, jump up on this. Sit up on this. Then he just put his fingers in her mouth, did the crawl. <laughs> did, 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 the, did the Mick Foley. The mankind <laughs> the shit. Man the mankind <laughs> shit. Mankind shit. shit. And she texted him the next day and said she felt uncomfortable. It was terrible. And he said, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't I misread it and I'm I'm sorry. He said, you know, I he was like I'm, I'm very sorry. I just had a different I mean when I saw your mouth on my dick <laughs> I just thought maybe it was on. You know, it was on when <laughs> But then yeah. when you let me put my but, fingers in your mouth in a V shape <laughs> right. and you didn't say anything or close yeah. your mouth at yeah. all. But then you stopped. You stopped putting your mouth on my dick and I thought maybe not. But then Then you did it again. Then you, you put, put your, your mouth, mouth on back my... on my dick. So I'm saying twice. I'm a little confused here. I mean, shit. You know, it's not about taking sides, but, you know, that, that kind of fucks up the movie. Yeah, let me just ask. How cocky? She was 23 years old, 23, right? yeah. These girls growing up now, these people growing up now in this country, how disconnected are they from danger and reality that mm -hmm. they don't even know, like, this shit is like, they do they know how bad shit gets out there? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you in an apartment with Aziz. He's a celebrity and shit. Mm -hmm. You could. You don't have to open your mouth when he goes to put the airplane fingers in there. <laughs> you don't have to provide an airport for his landing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did those fingers get in the mouth? Open. You opened your mouth, bitch. Right, it's like feeding a baby. <laughs> open sad. the door. You don't have a mind of your own. Close your fucking mouth. <laughs> you don't need to take the fingers. <laughs> Uh, Shannon, if some guy came up to you and started trying to put his fingers in your mouth in a claw, I would love to would see. Would you that. just let it happen? I would love no, to right? see. Just bite. You back up yeah. and say, "Get the fuck out of my neighborhood with that shit." Get out of here. You grew up trying to keep shit out of your neighborhood. You're not going to let some shit in your mouth. That's the difference. Shannon grew up in Bensonhurst when shit was real and there was real danger. This girl's like. And it felt like a little weird. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you felt, but yeah. you know, I was expecting yeah. to be your girlfriend. Bitch, that's a season. Sorry, he ain't got time for you. <laughs> he even had you at the restaurant looking at his watch the whole time. Like, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta call. I gotta make a call with uh, you know, the producer of the office or whatever. Yeah. So next next ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. I got to call. You know. Yeah. Shannon ain't having it. I got though. to call Hassan Minaj. We got to go pray together. <laughs> it's fine. We got to go. But while I figure this bit, then I'm going to go do some Muslim prayers. Is he a, is he practicing? He's I, know, a, I thought Hassan he grew, he grew up Muslim and shit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Hassan's a good-looking kid. Hassan, Holy yeah. shit. Hassan is a I would great... like to make Hassan, him sin. Hassan, <laughs> yeah. Hassan has great hair. He got great hair. He has beautiful great hair. hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he got a nice thing. He's a little skinny, too. He needs to live a he's little thin. bit. He's thin. He's thin. But that's cool. He got that rock star look and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a handsome. He got big eyes, too. Yeah. When he does comedy, it looks like he's giving a Martin Luther King speech. <laughs> he does. He, he is a handsome dude. And his wife is gorgeous. His wife is beautiful. They're having a baby. They're expecting oh, a baby. Congratulations to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so nice to hear. Yeah, so so, uh, yeah. So Shannon, you would make sure that doesn't happen. That's I think that's a great point, <laughs> mommy. That yeah, she spent her whole life cleaning the neighborhood. That's it. <laughs> She's not gonna have nothing in her mouth like that she doesn't want. I mean, you know, that's what it is. And we don't have to worry. See, the shit about the rigorous podcast is our listeners is rigorous, Angelo. Of course, they rigorous. We don't got to worry about watching what we fucking say. No, because we, we the people who listen to this is fucking adults. Yeah, most of them grew up in New York City. A fucking Miami. They're from around the world. I'm though. getting shit from around the world. I got That's Texas right now. We yeah. going global. Los yeah. Angeles. We're I want that Seattle shit. Give me that Utah shit. We don't have Seattle. I we don't have Seattle. Seattle. In, in the 300 million, we don't have Seattle. Right in, right into us. Yeah, yeah, Ask yeah. Ask Marisa at gmail.com. These people's getting very specific too. 
Because on mean? the podcast, I said askmarisa.com. Yeah. And they let me know. They said, Marisa, you made a mistake. I said, bitch, you know what I meant. What, what, what's mi- I oh, as, oh, Gmail. Yeah, they're getting on me too, Angelo. Yeah, yeah. It's not just you. <laughs> These bitches are perfectionists. And let me tell you, I respect it. Yeah. We're trying to live up to your perfection. That's you know, pay at the pack out there. That's and it. we try to deliver. That's it. That's it. They stay activated. Holy shit, that's it. They keep us on our toes, they mommy. Act- they you they know? dangling out there. So speaking of askmarisa at, at gmail.com, I think we have some questions. Shani, we got questions? We do. Ah, oh, let's do some questions, mommy. Okay, so our, one of our favorites, Marlene. Marlene! <laughs> Holy shit, she back again. <laughs> she like Amos Lee getting into the dream. She gets into this podcast. She the Amos Lee of that how, email how address. We, how we doing with that, mommy? As we far as to get trying to get Amos Lee on oh, the podcast. Shit. He got tagged up. He got tagged up on Twitter. He probably they, don't even know what's going on. He they've like, been tagging him on Twitter. He saw Twitter. my picture because he was yeah. tagged on my shit. <laughs> and then he's like, what the what fuck the- is this shit? <laughs> but he don't live in that world. <laughs> he lives in that, hey, baby, we're rolling down in the rest town. Take your time. Love me slow. There's holes in my jeans. And my boots were bar- dirty from a vintage store. <laughs> When they're new, I break them in. I smoke cigarettes to make my voice raspy. I could afford finer stuff, but I drink Pabst. Blue ribbon for the look. I'm disgusted by anything that is well-groomed. If I smell cologne, I get upset. I like to smell like vomit and spilt beer and sawdust on a Tuesday <laughs> in a motel. Even when they offer me the penthouse, I stay in the motel. <laughs> hey, Miss Lee, everybody. Hey, Miss Lee. I don't own a horse, but you might think I do. Because of my belt buckle. <laughs> He's on that shit, Shannon. He ain't coming to Benson, her, Shannon. You better move. Shannon, you better move to rural Illinois. He ain't never coming to Benson, her. Amos Lee, everybody. Amos Lee. So anyway, he got tagged up. Oh, so he got pad. tagged. People yeah. saying, "Yo, you need to." They, you got. They want you on this podcast. Uh, and he was probably sitting there in his underwear, right, <laughs> in his motel. Being like, who is this bitch with the red hair who I'm getting tagged on? And who the hell is Shannon Lee Hale? Who is Shannon Lee Hale? uh, He's sitting in his his underwear where? In his motel. Smoking a Marlboro light. Thinking about love. Thinking about about love. Amos Lee, everybody. No. We get Amos Lee on the show. We have to. So out there, if you have any Bring uh, your contacts. fucking guitar, you dangly motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't coming here and not playing a song for Shannon. Oh, I want to God. see that bitch <clears throat> faint. I want to see her faint. She's going to faint. She's going to faint. What would be your reaction if we get him on the show? She was going to hang. What, what would, what, you, you can't even. It's unfathomable. You can't it figure is, it yeah. out. No. I mean, no. I would be like stuttery. I would blush. Stutter and prick. Yeah. Oh, and you would blush? Yeah. I'd have to just put it on a two shot here uh-huh. and then just like stare. Yeah. <laughs> I'm putting a request out to the Panthers out there. Uh, Panthers, time to activate. Yep. Every single one of you that's listening, tag this motherfucker, Amos yeah. Lee. Hit yeah. him up. Yeah. Like a machine gun. Blah, 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 blah. Just yeah. tag him up to get him on the podcast. And I'm going to t- I'm going to directly message him. We're getting Amos Lee on this podcast. We, we, and we're going to do an hour special. Yeah. I'm going to sit in the producer chair. <laughs> and Shannon's going to sit right across from him. She's going to sit on his lap. And I'm going to have my phone out doing the Facebook Live just on Shannon. So you can see that bitch blush over and over. She's going to turn four colors. Her hair and her face are going to be the same color. When she goes down, she's going to lose oxygen and faint and shit. As soon as he starts strumming that guitar. Oh. That's sad. Oh we go God. hard here. We make dreams come true. Out here. <laughs> we, make we make dreams come dreams true. Come true. Okay, let's, let, we got questions, right? Yes. How the fuck do we not? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? All right, we've got a question. You know how we go. We go yeah. wild. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so from Marlene. Hey, guys. Hope mm-hmm. everyone's keeping warm, so let's get to it. Mm-hmm. First question is for the queen. When the panther is on the prowl, how young is too young and how old is too old? Uh, the law. I go with the law, Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go to jail. First, let's start with the law. <laughs> you know? Uh, 
Go to go online and Google what is the law, <laughs> and then after that I tell you right now I never go younger. So this is a good question. Not younger than My, you. I or... never go younger than me. Oh okay. That's I don't understand these girls that go younger. Okay. Even J Lo figured that shit out. Okay. She was like, "Look, what am I doing? Little bunny foo foo here, <laughs> hopping through the forest." <laughs> <laughs> she she's not little, you understand that J Lo's not little bunny foo foo anymore. No, she going Clooney as shit. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean A Rod. Yeah, I mean how old is A Rod? Forty two, forty three. Yeah, so he is younger. Oh shit, he's younger. He is younger. But the steroids made him older. <laughs> Probably. I mean, but should, I mean, but it's in the forties though. It's in, in that range. Yeah, I still would go old though. <clears throat> really? She, yeah, she should she should be with like you know, Anthony Hopkins or some shit. <laughs> He's the first old motherfucker that came to my mind. <laughs> do, you, are you, do you dig him? You dig Anthony Hopkins? Why I can't is he the dig first? Anthony Hopkins oh, after no. I've seen Silence of the Lambs. Okay, yeah. He is Hannibal Lecter. That, no. he, okay. But you need to go older because older is mature. This is a general message to the ladies. Okay. Go older. Okay. Because listen, testosterone makes men very immature. Okay. So have your fun with the ones your age when you're in your 20s. Right. But go older. You're mm -hmm. going to find a man who knows what he's doing, first of all. Right. Like we was talking about the other podcast. He goes long. Okay, yeah. He don't do that animal shit. He goes right. long. Right, right. He right. going to be eating that pussy till you finish. Okay. He ain't going to lick, lick, lick and come back up. And come back up. He no. waiting for the, the middle, the tootsie, the, 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 what's in the middle? The um, tootsie roll. Yeah. He going to the tootsie roll. Tootsie. tootsie. What that is it? Tootsie Roll Pop? That's it. The center. Yeah, he chewing <laughs> on that licorice in there. He waiting till the licorice exposes it. So he coming up. Nah. So you need to always go older when you're looking mm -hmm. for the man you're going to date. Okay. Go older. is going to be more mature. He's going to take you to museum. Okay. He's going to take you to Westchester. Right. He's going to take you to Applebee's. He's not being taking you to McDonald's. He's taking you to Applebee's. Okay. He's taking you to fucking... Ruby Tuesdays. Okay. But have you always been that way? Like like when you were younger? I had to learn the hard way. That's okay. a good question, Angela. Okay. Yeah. I made my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> you learn from experience. I dated some young motherfuckers. They took me to Subway. I'm learning like Shannon's learning right now. <laughs> Shannon's still in that learning process. She is. She keep getting left back. <laughs> She can't pass the test. She keep getting a 62 with these motherfuckers. She on that dick pic dating. She hasn't even graduated from that dick pic dating. Shannon, somebody oh. sends you a dick pic, that's the motherfucker you do not date. <laughs> shit. Hey, but she can't help it. <laughs> she getting left leave, leave my shady alone. She a super CEO. She's going to make... <laughs> How rigorous is my shit? How much shit is rigorous? The most rigorous mom. Yeah, we're going to push Sergio back. <laughs> yeah, this has to. Yo, he's like an emergency. You know, like they have the in case of emergency break. Yeah. We just leave the episodes in yeah, case yeah. of emergency break. Yeah, this is going to be the next one. This yeah. has to be. That's it. Uh, um, uh, he's going to be waiting okay. too by his computer. Like, when, when they're going to tag me in when I'm going to post this episode. Yeah, 2023, Sergio. <laughs> no, we love Sergio. We love Sergio. And that, that episode's fantastic. Fire. We're going to make people wait for that shit. <laughs> we rocking with and this And we may one. even do an exclusive shit where the interview ones, uh -huh. you might have to pay for those. That's it. We don't oh. know. Because we now, now we on Gas Digital. Oh, we on Gas Digital, we by the way. officially on yeah. Gas Digital. Yeah. They got a lot of good fucking shows, too. Absolutely. Tim Dillon Goes to Hell. Yeah. This He's from, if you like to hear people scream from Long Island, yeah. Who like you know probably robbed your grandmother of a mortgage or two? <laughs> Go to Tim Dillon. Then mm -hmm. you got Dave Smith. Mm -hmm. He's that he does that political shit, right, Shannon? Yeah, yeah part the of libertarian. The part of the problem. Yeah, everybody's a libertarian until their company goes bankrupt. I like, <laughs> like you know I'm liberal. I'm liberal. Bail me out, taxpayers. Yeah. And then we got the of course the Legion of Skanks. Yeah. The Legion of Skanks with Luis J. Gomez. That's where it all started. J. Right? Okerson and Dave Smith. Yeah, that's where it all started. And then SDR. SDR moving. Sex, that's like one of the most popular roll. podcasts. It is, right? That's Ralph, right? Yep. Ralph Sutton? Yeah, that's the show with the dick pic uh, dating show. That's oh, is it? Happened. Really? They're the ones that did it for me. And that's oh, J. That's J. Okerson, too. <laughs> yeah. How many podcasts is Jay on? He's got, he's got like a professional. And he's got like, and, and shows on Sirius. Show, yeah. Yeah, I got a lot wow. going on. He's rocking it. So, man. yo, go check this. Go check the guys' digital shit out, everybody. Right. I hope they promoted my shit. Are they promoting my shit on their shit? Absolutely. Because we not. I don't want to start a war inside the family. <laughs> yeah. They better be hitting that more. We need that cross promotional. I shit. need some school shooters listening to this shit. <laughs> no. Some MMA school. <clears throat> some MMA and yeah. some school shooters. Mm. That's it. Hi, right, Mama. We have another question. <clears throat> uh, do you want the second part of Marlene's or do you want to go to somebody else? Oh, the second part? Yeah. Yeah, let's stay with Marlene. I like Marlene. Okay, the second question is for all of us. It's mm -hmm. uh, what song can always get you into a good mood? Oh. What song can always get me into? For me, mm -hmm. very simple. And then you guys could go. Okay. Mine's is simple. Will Smith, Summer, Summertime. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to that shit in the dead of January if I need to. <laughs> because listen, Christmas, that's like the, Christmas is like the, um, Christmas is the... What's, um, what's the name of it? Uh, summer, summertime. <laughs> Will Smith. 
Christmas is the honeymoon phase of winter. Yeah, and winter is the relationship. <laughs> okay. That's it. So I, you yeah. need that summer, summertime. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a great song. It always puts me in a good mood. I think this is the only song that I dig. What do you? What's your song? <clears throat> my song. My song. Suavemente. <laughs> <laughs> no. What do you got? Oh, I thought you were playing. Shannon? Oh, I was gonna play it, then you switched over. <laughs> Oh shit! Right here, don't even matter if it's February. What's the name of this song? Summer, summertime. <laughs> they tried to play this shit oh, in Ben's oh. house. <laughs> yeah, what happens? They said, "Get this fucking molly out of my neighborhood! <laughs> Get him out of my neighborhood!" Oh, uh, uh, yeah, this is dope. That's it. That's what. That's yeah, one yeah. of my shits right there. Shannon, this what's yours? Song. What's yours, Shannie? I have a bunch. I feel like a lot, mm-hmm. a lot of Amos Lee songs. <laughs> I don't know. Pick an Amos Lee. Pick an Amos Lee. Uh, so not Amos Lee, though. I, I think Aha. The song Aha. Uh, Take um, On Me. Take On oh, Me. That's yeah. a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Take mm-hmm. On Me. How about you? How about you? Um, you know what I really enjoy? It always puts me What do you enjoy? Um, Bach? Sim- nah, Symphony 16? Nah. nah. In I, Amsterdam? That's good stuff. Rock Mononorf? No, uh, but you know, now that we found, found love, what, what are we, we going, going to do? do? With it. That's another good one. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can't go on some deep shit. No. If somebody says a song that puts you in the good mood, you can't say Radiohead's Creep. <laughs> that's not putting you in a good mood. You can't mood. say Imagine yeah, by John Lennon. It. And I hate those people who's like... And those are great songs. Those, those are great songs. Wonderful songs. But they don't put they put you in a, a thinking mood. Marlene specifically asked. And that's why I hate, I hate those snobs, uh-huh. right, who say like, oh, that dance music is simple. Yeah, we're going to a club. Yeah. I don't want to hear radio. I'm not going to the dance floor to cut my wrists. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to move on this shit. Mm. Put on that Susie Q. But what's... Yeah. Little Susie. <laughs> what's it? Is, what is it? Susie, Susie Q. We never can remember. Little Susie <laughs> or Susie <laughs> Q. Susie Q. Susie Q. Susie Q. I got to get out of here. You do. Okay. That's um. Right. All right. I got a date. This is big. You, you have got, a date, mommy? Right you here. got a date. That's right. Oh, you'll tell us about this next week. That's right. It's uh, with uh, it's with a kind of a celebrity too. Really? To say. Can you I share? How it goes? Can you share? I can say it. Who? 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 It's um. Uh, it's Dan it's, Soto. What? Do you know who Dan Soto? Is? I do. The comedian. Yeah, I'm he's, on he's, he's on billions. He's on billions on Showtime. He's on Showtime on billions. Yeah, we'll have him on. We're going to have him on. Absolutely. Oh my Dan goodness. Dan Soto. He's funny too. That's Tall, my dangly. guy. He's Shannon he's, might like him. He's yeah, dangly. He's shit. dangly. He's a dangly, dangly fuck. Oh yeah, I like Dan. Oh man, congratulations and yeah, him. yo, good luck with that. Yo, buddy. he's into that shit. Oh, he's shit. into me. Well done. The rigorosity just overtook him. How can he not be? Charisma got him. So then we got to get you out of here. Yo, thanks for tuning in to Rigorous Podcast. That Shanny, I'm Angela. Take us out real quick, Queen. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping some shit goes down right here <laughs> with, with Don Soda and Lisa Amos. We're thinking about you. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Stay classy. That's it. Peace.